What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today we're gonna show you some wiring configurations for a single dual voice coil one ohm subwoofer. There are two configurations you can do with a dual voice coil one ohm sub, so let's start with the first one, which is series wiring. Before we start, let's check the resting impedance on each of these terminals. So as you can see, we have a resting impedance of 1.1 ohms, which is just what we want. And if we check the other one here, and again, you'll see we have a resting impedance of one ohm. So to begin with the series wiring, we're just gonna take one single speaker wire here which can also be called a jumper cable we're gonna take one end and plug it into one of the negative terminals on one side of our sub and then we're gonna take the other end and plug it into the positive terminal on the other side of the sub now here you'll see I have these red and black wires which is wired directly to the terminals on the side of the enclosure here. So I'm going to take these wires and plug the red wire into the open positive terminal on the side of the sub here. Then we're going to take the black wire and plug that into the negative terminal on this side of the sub. So now if I check the impedance on the terminals here of the enclosure, you'll see we get an impedance of 2.3 ohms. And then from these enclosure terminals, I would go into the speaker wire terminals of my amplifier and get an impedance of 2 ohms. Now when you have your sub wired in this way, you can use any amplifier capable of running the subwoofer's rated power at 2 ohm. But another option is using a 1 ohm stable amplifier running at 2 ohms. If you use a 1 ohm stable amp running at 2 ohms, your amp will run really cool with great efficiency which will save your car battery. You'll also hear increased performance because your amp is running so cool. The second way you can wire a DVC 1 ohm sub is through parallel wiring, which will bring your final impedance to 0.5 ohm. Parallel wiring is fairly simple to do. We just go from the positive terminal of one voice coil to the other positive terminal on the other voice coil, and then straight into the positive speaker lead of your enclosure box. So to show you how that's done, I'll take my jumper cable, plug one end into one positive terminal, then I'm gonna take the positive speaker lead of my enclosure box and wire that to the other end of my jumper cable here. And then I'm gonna plug that into the other positive terminal of my sub. Then we're gonna do the same exact thing with our negative side. So we go from the negative terminal of one voice coil to the negative terminal of the other voice coil and then straight into the negative speaker lead of our enclosure box. So we'll take another jumper cable, plug one end into the negative terminal on one voice coil. Then we're gonna take the negative speaker lead from the enclosure box and wire that to the other end of my jumper cable like so and plug that into the open negative terminal on my sub. So now if I check my impedance through the enclosure terminals here, you get a final impedance of 0.7 or 0.8 ohms. Now I gotta give you guys a warning here to make sure your amplifier can handle a 0.5 ohm load. There are some amps that are built to be 0.5 ohm stable, and for this configuration, you're gonna wanna use that type of amp with this type of setup. Typically, higher impedances are safer. 0.5 ohm amps sometimes work well, but sometimes they don't work and burn out quicker than two ohm stable amps. Generally, this configuration isn't recommended for setups, so we suggest wiring your woofer to series for 2 ohm instead. We also recommend if you need more power to upgrade to a more powerful 2 ohm stable amp. But again, if you do want to go for this type of setup, just make sure your amp can run at 0.5 ohm stable. So hopefully this showed you guys how you can wire a single dual voice coil 1 ohm subwoofer, but of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.